Hello friends, welcome. Now if you want to use the Vue.js with a Laravel project and for one reason you don't like the Inertia.js, I want to show you in this video how to install Vue 3 on Laravel 10 project and use the components from Vue. First I'm going to open the terminal and create a fresh Laravel 10 project. So I'm going to say here Laravel new and I'm going to name it Laravel dash Vue. Hit enter and let's create a Laravel 10 project. And after that, the first thing we need to install is the npm dependencies. So let's navigate in the Laravel dash view project. And here I'm going to say npm install. I install the Laravel dependencies and then let's install the Vue.js. So I'm going to say npm install view at next to install the latest version of Vue.js okay now we have installed the Vue.js if I open the project with the VS code okay and let's navigate in the avit.config.js because Laravel now use vjs we can see here we have imported the defined config from vid and then we have imported the laravel from laravel vid plugins the same here we have a plugin so we add laravel the same first we need to install the view plugin for vjs and then add it here to the plugins array okay so to install a view plugin for vjs we need to say npm install at vjs slash plugin dash view with that we are going to install the view plugin for vjs now we are okay let's come here and let's import the view plugin so we can say import view from the add vjs slash plugin dot view dash view sorry and then register that in the plugin so we can say you like this good now let's save this and let's open the resources js app js here i'm going to import the create app not from view because if i say view is not going to work but we need to import from view slash list slash view esm bundler.js like this and then let's create with the data constant with name app it's going to be equal with the create app and here i'm going to pass an empty object and then I'm going to say app dot mount and let's mount this inside the div with a D of app like this. Let's save. Let's go now inside the views welcome and I'm going to select all the remove add a new HTML file and inside of it add a div with the ID of app what we have specified here and let's close this and also now we need to add the js app js here on the welcome blade so for that i'm going to say it and add resources slash js slash app dot js here good let's save and let's see now if I open the project in here I'm going to say Laravel dash view test we need to run the npm run dev good let's come here and do that let's say npm run dev hit enter okay if I refresh now yeah we have an empty page and as you can see here we have so let's zoom it for you 
we have a component is missing template or render function because we don't have any component yet. So let's go and inside the JS, I'm going to create a directory for components. And inside the components, let's create new file and let's say example dot view. Here I'm with say v setup and just on the template I'm with add h1 and let's say example component like this. Okay, save. Now let's register that component in here. So first we need to import that. Let's say import the example component from dot slash components slash example dot view and register that we can register here by saying components and an object and let's say example like this okay save now on the welcome let's add inside the div with id app because here we have mounted the view so inside here let's say example and with the set close up and let's save now and let's see yeah here we have the example app and that's it okay but what i want is in here instead of importing the create app from view dist view ESM bounder. I'm going to create an alias. So let's copy this. Let's go on the vitjs with config, sorry. And here I'm going to say resolve and add an alias for the view alias and say view. And now in here I'm going to add the view dist view SM ASM bundler. And with that now in here we just need to say the view alias like this with that i think we are more okay and let's come here and refresh everything works correctly so on the console yeah everything is good okay friends so what we have done is install the view and also install the view plugin for vjs then on the vid.config.js we have make some changes first import the view from vjs slash plugin view added the view plugin here and also I just added the alias for view list us ESM bundler and on the app.js import the create app import also the component create a consent for app and also if you don't like like this register the components you can register the component by saying app dot component one by one and give it the name for example example in our case and example is the component and say app dot mount and let's come here yeah everything works correctly Okay friends, so that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video and see you in the next one.